Now, is there anything you can do? I guess my last question on microplastics, mm -hmm. um, can they be removed from the body? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so in animal models, I think it was in a zebrafish, actually. So not a human. We are not zebrafish. An interesting thing that we wrote in the editorial was that um, these zebrafish, when they were in an environment that didn't have a lot of microplastics in the water and everything, it seemed that the levels decreased. And it was over the span of weeks to months. Now, the mechanisms of how that happened, not entirely sure. But it suggests that the body was able to, to clear out these microplastics in some sort of way. Some of our natural functions, again, which is why we place such heavy emphasis on decreasing the exposure. There's been a number of papers coming out about um, different blood therapies and all these different things. I think they're very preliminary. It's not definitive enough to say, hey, you should go to the clinic and get your blood swapped out with non-microplastic blood. I don't think we should be doing things like that. Right, or um, dialysis. Yeah, yeah. I, I think... I think what we should instead be focusing on right now is decreasing the exposure because another statistic in the nature medicine paper was that yes, although the microplastic content increased over those years, it didn't change based on the age of the person, which means that the body again is able to somewhat clear it. It's not just endlessly accumulating because you would imagine if your body right. couldn't clear the microplastics, someone who's 90 years old should have a lot more than someone who is 30 years old. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, so a whole we plate, have not just a spoon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So our body is is somewhat regulating and, and clearing this on its own, which is why I think you get a lot better and safer outcomes likely if you're just avoiding exposure and allowing your body's normal mechanisms to, to clear it before we have definitive evidence of, a, of an effective clearing strategy. Because it's one thing if tomorrow we see a paper come out in nature or science that there's this microplastic clearance strategy that is, is, is clinically approved, safe, et cetera, et cetera then the story changes. But right, right now that doesn't exist.